Okay, so now that we have our model ready, we will start working on the materials. All right, so the general idea for the materials is that I want the walls to be kind of like purple. So let's just start by there, right? Let's just select like um, a purple color. Yeah, something like like this. And let's also, let's, let's, let's reduce like the, the shininess, maybe something like five. Let's uh, change also the background to be maybe just a little purple as well. I want to move my light which is right now in here i want to move it and then um the table itself can be maybe like a, some sort of yellow color so let's uh, use a yellow color and let's uh, say that this is the table and let's just drop the color in there um, so actually all of the all of the objects in i mean all of the leds will be the same color so let's just just the same um, I think I want the same color or a similar color for the chair and just I'm going to select all of the objects in the chair and select something similar I also want this uh, to be a little yellowish so maybe something like this and maybe this inner inner one to be perhaps something like this All right, so I want to start working a little bit on more deeper lighting in this room. So I will start with the walls. And so I'm going to have like a depth layer to the wall. So it's going to be here, depth layer. And then instead of using these colors, I'm going to be using um, just black here. And then here it's going to be transparent. But instead of using Kind of like this position which is not ideal i'm going to use like a world position and then i'm going to place these um right to the corner so we start adding like darkness in the corner itself and this is going to be maybe a little um kind of like red and perhaps like something like this i think and just Maybe, yeah, something like that, a little purple-ish. Yeah, so I'm going to start like adding those and then I'm going to duplicate this one and I'm going to put it to this side. But it's going to be a lot less, obviously, we don't want that much darkness here. Um, I'm also going to use the smooth transition because I think it's like, like a, lot less, a, lot, a lot better and then again just to duplicate this one again and now i'm just gonna put it on this other side in here and we can also change like the opacity maybe this could be more like 40 and 40 or maybe 50 i think it's fine so let's uh, update a little bit the color of the table here i don't think this is a good material so um I just, I, I, you know, I just want to use like an overlay color, and you know, this needs needs to be maybe a little more kind of like this. Uh, I realized that for the chair, I actually want the chair um, to be more um, kind of like the same color of these boards in here. So I'm going to just going to rename this more like um, pink color, and I'm going to use that for for the chair. So any of the objects here in the chair, I'm just going to select them and then I'm going to click here and use the pin instead, right? Then uh, let's uh, change a little bit this color to be first a little bit more darker and let's just use the overlay here so we can get this kind of like more richer, rich uh, lighting happening right there. Um, actually, I'm going to disconnect this because I actually I want this to be uh, a different type of color. So I'm going to create maybe like a duplicate of this. It's going to be maybe like pink two or something. Um, I'm going to assign that to the to those in there. And for the chair, what I want is that I want the 
is maybe it's, let's call it chair now. So what I want is I, I also want like some sort of like uh, depth color, but um, it's gonna be in, in like a different position. Um, so it's, it needs to be like a smaller also. We don't want such a big, you know, like huge color. And um, so yeah, I think I, I think I want something like this, like kind of like a very simple um, kind of like darkness to it. Let's see if I can just simplify a few things in here. Um, yeah, I think something like this could actually work. Put try like a smooth. And so this is gonna be more like a multiplier. So yeah, just uh, multiplying a little bit. That's why I just I just need to have maybe like a like a more darker color here and so the default color here might be even more like grayish type of color something like that so that's for the chair and so i feel like i i, I should have or i should have like a similar strategy for the table itself so we can try doing you know the same actually so i'm just just gonna be using the same strategy for, for the table, but I realized that for the table, actually, we will need to use a word position, and we have to do something similar to what we did on the other side. So it's gonna be something like like this, and um, maybe smooth, and then uh, we can invert the colors here. So it's gonna be more like darkening, and yeah, just multiplying there a little. And this could be maybe just a little more like grayish. Yeah, something like that should work. Yeah, okay, so now we have that. Let's, um, yeah, let's just keep, you know, working on, on these. Um, I feel like these two here should probably be maybe more, uh, you know, like, kind of like, maybe more aligned to these. Um, so let's just maybe like do some overlay here. And yeah, less less intense. Um, I'm gonna still use maybe something like like this, but let's just make sure that it's not like kind of like colliding with the other colors. Just you know, something that looks good. Um, so for the window here, we can try uh, a brighter color. So let's assume that it's some sort of lighting coming from the other side. And so you can see it right away. It's kind of looking better right now, but you know, for some objects like the sphere, it's not really that nice. So we can just maybe, you know, we can either make it like yellow or something like that. It could also be greenish. Um, I think for this sphere, um, I do want it to be um, kind of like a little reddish type of color. And for the lamp, which is in here, um, I think for the lamp, we can use um, maybe the pink too. I think the, the pink too works. Um, kind of like, and then we had like this bunch of books, right, which are here, and then again for these books, I don't know, we can use maybe the same color of um, the boxes, maybe could be, um, so yeah, something like that could work. So for the boxes, actually, we need to we need to reduce, like we don't want any highlights on these boxes, and we can also use like some sort of overlay color, and you know, so we can kind of like make this a little different. Yeah, something like that. You can also try like other colors there, see what works. But I think for this particular case, yeah, I think the boxes should be something like that. So um, I realized that I, I actually needed um, another another object here, which is going to be maybe like another rectangle, uh, something like that, and to be like I don't know, like for maybe a little split here, and then for the color, it actually should be very very white and this one this color is specifically for this one which is drawing it needs to be darker because we want it to be more like a highlight or something um so this needs to be maybe zero here yeah so that looks a lot better i believe so for the walls as well i think i i, I really want to remove the, the extra highlight here we we need we need it or maybe it could be maybe something like like two or something um don't need to be so so bright and we can the lighting itself in here um, it could be maybe something like 90 uh, or 80 um, so that's gonna give us like a little more like better color I think 
and yeah something like that should work so let's also change now the, the background a little so kind of have like a better balance there I will disable the grid plane because I don't think we need it anymore we just you know want to make sure that we have the, the right balance here and then uh, the light itself it could be more like uh, these I think it should work let's disable snap and uh, just move this like this I think it should be should be good let's just uh, first go to to this and that kind of like make sure that we have like a good uh, colors for these objects in here maybe this, this could be maybe a little, a little bit different in the sense that it could be like one color here and then we can create a material it's gonna be like um, a picture frame yeah picture frame works and then this one here and then again picture frame so now if we edit the picture frame then um, gonna be maybe a little brighter so we have like more details in there for the lamp and using what I'm using pink to right so pink to it could be um, less uh, shiny I think maybe something like two and that's a little better I believe and then this object here is also missing uh, color so it should be picture frame as well I think that's good and yeah so so far it's it's going well but maybe this one here could be a little brighter so it's like coming from here so the chair itself and also we are missing some colors in here um one thing i want to do for this color is that um i want to remove the the highlights in here so i'm going to any chinese here needs to be removed so let's do that and for the one this one in particular we can make it a little darker manually so um, I see here the chair and the chair looks um, a little darker so maybe we can increase the saturation just a little bit so we can uh, reduce that right so yeah I think that's actually a little better maybe perhaps less, less intense I think uh, yeah less intense should be um, ideal so maybe like 90 or 80 okay yeah that's, that's good enough um, so for the plant, I also think for the plant we need to do something similar, but first let's just go here and remove this one, maybe that's something like two. And for anything on the plants, we need to have like a depth layer again. So we go through the depth layer and then um, let's, let's try to change in like a little the, the darkness there. So we can just go here and yeah, something like this should be, should be good enough, I think and then we, do, we just need to inverse the colors so the darkness come like that and then we can use uh, this other one and yeah by that you can see you know, it's getting better already so this should be like this and yeah so we can put this actually uh, actually I can put just maybe like a dark color like this and then I can just multiply that should be that should be good enough. Let's see, maybe it could be even darker. There it is. Okay. And then uh, this one could be maybe a little more. Yeah, a little more intense right there. So that is for the plant. And you can see here we have like this wook. Um, and the wook is, is still like missing a little bit more saturation. So let's use overlay and let's uh, that, you know, increase the darkness a little bit here. That should be fine. Um, for this color, also need to do the same. And let's just uh, darken it just a little so it has like less separation. We can also add a little bit more of, um, to the wood, we can also add a little bit more of gradient. So that's gonna have like the, maybe more depth like that. Yeah, that, that should work. But instead of using this, we can use maybe something like a like a reddish, reddish purple-ish, maybe. Yeah, that's that's definitely better. Okay. So, um, well, actually, you know, I, I I would like to this to be maybe more like uh, the color of the board. Um, so yeah, so we have like a few colors in there. They are meeting together so yeah, that should be fine and 
now I think we well we actually we, we also can kind of like move this a little to to the top because I feel like kind of need it need to put things a little bit to the top there um yeah that, that's better but I feel like um, the books uh, they probably we need to use like a different color for the book so we can reuse some of the colors in here so for example uh, we can maybe use uh, a different tone here for this one like this for example um, you know or one of these could be like uh, what's this, like the yeah like that and then um, I think you know we, we, need, we probably can add like a few more details in, in here just like a little piece of paper there um, be like here we, we a little bit of front corners there and yeah just you know a piece of paper just so, so it feels like more natural and then uh, here we can also have like a little more details right we you know actually I can one thing I can do is I can duplicate this I really like this because it's, it's kind of like a it already has like a hole but I, I'm gonna duplicate this one actually and um, I'm gonna put it um, I'm gonna put it right here in the top but it's gonna be really really small so it's gonna be more like a, something like this and then I can change a little to this um, so maybe we can select like the top part and um, we can make it smaller click on the dot and just make it smaller so now it looks more like just do you know pop there and uh, we can put you know a, a bunch of cylinders in there um, so that's just representing maybe something like pencils right so Alright, it seems like we have the lighting already looking really good, so now it's time that we can start working on the interactions. So in the next video, we will see how to create the interactions so we can switch between different colors.